I don't want you to be the person who says, well, I was kind of busy that week, so I, you know, and uh, uh, Elden Ring came out, so I played video games instead. I don't want you to be that person. I want you to be the person that says enthusiastically, yes, I stood up. I organized a street protest in my city with thousands of people to put pressure on my politicians to support the internet, to, to rally the international community to do more to support the Ukrainian people. I want you to be the person who says to your grandchildren, yes, I donated money directly to organizations that were helping Ukrainians on the ground. I want you to be the person who says, you know, I didn't know what Bitcoin was, but I figured out how to use Bitcoin and I donated Bitcoin directly to the Ukrainian army because they needed it. They needed help. They needed help in fighting off the, the, the Putin regime. I want you to be that person. Don't be the other person. Be the person who says enthusiastically, yes, I did something. Because again, think back to when you first learned about World War II. Remember when you first learned about World War II, maybe in history class, and you learned about how in the 1930s, the Nazi regime slowly built up this authoritarian regime and little things here and there, random acts of violence, that suddenly became a little bit normal. And then suddenly in 1939, Poland was invaded, which led to horrible things led to, for the entire world and catastrophe for Europe with the Holocaust. You probably, when you heard that in history class, you probably said the following thing, like I did. Well, wow, that really sucked. Why didn't somebody do something? If I were alive back in the 30s, I would have done something. Well, guess what? Now's your chance. You're living through history right now. You have a chance to do something. The thing that you would have done back then, you're doing it right now. Okay, so if you have a chance, if you can, do the following. You can do something. And we have live in a much more connected world now. It's not 1930s. It's the, in 2022. You can give money directly from your sofa there in Denver, Colorado, or in Boise, Idaho, or in Los Angeles, California. You can actually donate to groups that will get money directly to organizations that will help the Ukrainian people on the ground. And if you know anything about me, you know that I'm, I'm not a nationalist guy, I'm not a militaristic guy, I'm a peace guy, I'm a humanitarian guy. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not advocating for this thing. I never thought that I would say these words 10 days ago. I never thought I would say, you should give money directly to the Ukrainian army. But I'm saying those words. You should give money directly to the Ukrainian army. They need your help. There are people volunteering. They need resources to, to help, to, to clothe those people, to feed those people. The, the Ukrainians on the ground need your help. The thing that I care about is that actual Ukrainian people on the ground, they need your help. Keep that in mind. And again, for any Russian colleagues that might be paying attention, you are living in a sea of misinformation. I know most of you know that. You know how to use VPNs and things like that. But you are living and you're swimming in an ocean of misinformation. The entirety of Ukraine has been attacked by the Putin regime. And we know that you hate Putin. I, I, all of my Russian colleagues, they tell me this, they say, yes, we don't want him there. So this is this is not just a Ukraine problem, this is a U problem as well. Yeah. So with that, I do have to unfortunately go. Um, we have a fantastic group of people here. I, again, my name is James. I'm a particle physicist at the Large Hadron Collider at CERN. Normally, my live streams on TikTok are about black holes and the Big Bang and what ha what's outside of the universe and the Higgs boson and dark matter. I don't know if you noticed, but there's more important things going on in the globe right now than dark matter or what's inside of a black hole. And that most important thing that's happened right now is that the murderous Putin regime has invaded Ukraine, and we need to do more to support the Ukrainian people on the ground. It's getting better, I admit. 48 hours ago, it seemed very sort of iffy. Maybe the world is going to look the other way. Oh, I don't know what's going to happen when real Ukrainians are dying on the ground. Things have changed. I never would have thought 48 hours ago that Germany would reverse decades of its uh, policy and suddenly they're now thinking about giving military equipment directly to Ukraine. I never thought I would see that. That's what's happened. But it's still not enough. We have Ukrainians on the ground dying. We have people that need your help directly. Okay, so I'm imploring you, no matter where you come from in the globe, no matter where you happen to be sitting in the globe, you can do something more than what you're doing. One of the big things you can do is put, put pressure on your politicians. Because keep in mind, if you live in a country that has any kind of notion, if you live in a country that has any kind of notion of any kind of representative democracy whatsoever, your politicians, they're not your bosses. You're their bosses. Okay, They work for you. Okay, So you need to get out, you need to organize a campaign to put pressure upon your politicians. Okay? Put pressure on your politicians to do more to support to uh, to rally the international community to do more so to support the, the Ukrainian people on the ground, right? Because again, I, I, there's many different perspectives here, right? But I'll give you my perspective as a physicist, right? One of the things that I'm, 
irrespective of the humanitarian argument, the fact that we're all connected, the fact that you know an, an attack on the Ukrainian people is an attack on any of us around the globe who care about freedom, liberty, democracy, any of these concepts, human dignity. This is an attack on you too. Also, you need to think, think of it from a physics perspective too. I'm a physicist. I'm the you know the the TikTok physics guy, right? We have a murderous Putin regime that has two things: nuclear weapons and Chernobyl. This should terrify all of us, just from an existential perspective. Right? This is really, 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 really bad. Take this seriously, more seriously than you're taking it right now. Okay? I need, I'm begging you, I'm pleading with you to do what you do more than what you're doing. Pressure your local politicians, your, 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 your politicians at the federal level, to do more than what they're doing to support the Ukrainian people. This is a sort of make or break moment for humanity. And again, I'm not ignoring, this is not at all to ignore other humanitarian crises around the globe. I'm very well aware there are humanitarian crises around the globe. These absolutely exist. But let's focus on this one right now, because what we're seeing here is something that has not been seen for a very long time. I'm not going to say it's unprecedented. It's absolutely precedented. History repeats itself over and over. But that's the thing. We've seen this. We've seen this story before. And it does not end well unless we as an international community get together and very strongly and forcefully say no to war, no to Putin, no to the destruction of Ukraine and the Ukrainian people because an attack on Ukraine is an attack on all of us. Yes! Thank you everyone for joining. Um, I have to go. Uh, I have a bunch of other stuff I have to do for the day. Maybe we'll be back tomorrow. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm trying to come here as much as possible to share stories uh, from actual. Again, you don't have to take any of this information from me. I'm an excitable American physicist who lives in Switzerland, is passing from Czech Republic. You can take it from actual Ukrainians. You can take it from uh, Czechs themselves. You can take it from. I've been talking from. People, I've been talking to people all around the globe. People from Iran. People from Kazakhstan. Uh, people from India. People from uh, uh, from Costa Rica. All of us are coming together in solidarity. With, in solidarity with the Ukrainian people to say no to the murderous Putin regime and yes to humanity, no to war, end this aggression right now. There's no, no, no diplomacy can start until all of the Russian troops are removed immediately. And you can do something more than what you're doing. Please, if you have, if you can, go to some of these links. I've tried to double check them that they are legitimate links. They are legitimate ways that you can donate money to help the Ukrainian people on the ground. Okay, that's the best you can do. Great. So, for example, if you live in a place that's not a place, please, I'm begging you, this is your perfect chance to do that brave thing that you've never thought you could do before. But if you live in some small college town in the United States, you're like, well, maybe there's a better approach. No, no, organize that one. Do it. Like, actually get your friends together and say, yes, we're going to get out on the streets. We're going to organize an email campaign, a calling campaign. Украины предпринимают.